comic book day. Yay. That was enthusiastic. McClay, what are you getting tomorrow? What are you picking up? Well, you know I'm picking up that uh, probably that Iron Fist 1 in 50, right? Um, that's definitely a book I'll probably pick up. I, I think it's, it's worthy of it. Um, let me bring that up for you guys again. Did I just close it? I think I just closed it. But anyways, let me bring up a uh, new comic day, the new comic book day website, my favorite website for uh, this type of thing. <laughs> for, for what you're getting tomorrow type yeah thing. exactly um let's see what we got i know the uh the iron fist and they don't it's funny because they don't even show that one in 50 on here they only show the a cover which is not bad it's very nice mark brooks uh it's got um uh lynn lee All, everybody's expecting this to be lynn lee on the cover um, of the A cover, which is really nice. And then there's the two exclusives that we know about. Well, that's all I know about. Um, uh, this is the Scon variant, mm. which is nice. That is a good looking one, too. Yeah. There's something with this new character's right arm. Okay. So take a look. Like, there's something with this, this character's right arm. It looks a little bit different. It looks like, like it's like super powered. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. if you look at that Scon variant <laughs> and, and then you look at this one, yeah. Right? He's got the stuff over it. He's got the wraps over it. Um, yeah, it's 3D. So I mean, he's meant one. to look like he's punching, but I think there's something going on there. So it'd be interesting to see what that is. Um, but this is uh, the Gwen variant for it. Don't like this. Is that like Domino? All. Yeah, like, Domino that's Gwen. Terrible. Would yeah. Rob Liefeld draw that? Yeah, uh, even uh, I hope uh, it would be better if Rob Liefeld drew it. Ooh. Then there's a Linnell Francis U variant that I haven't seen, and a Headshot variant. But I, uh, I think They're this might Midtown be has them. Okay, uh, this this might be uh, really really interesting to keep an eye on. Um, what else uh, do we have this week? What are you looking at, Brian? I'll tell you, of course, uh, Canto Lionhearted number six closes it out. The big one, that one right there, um, also, I like the incentive Ooh. for that one. Oh, that's a pretty cover, dude. This is beautiful cover. Yeah. Oh, that did they do a great. Clockwork Orange homage? Let's take a look. Yes, they did. It looks like they did. Kind of. Yeah, whatever it is, it's good. Yeah. That's kind of like a Mondo good. poster to me. Yeah. Right? And, um, of course, if the I'm also excited for... G.I. Joe Saturday Morning Adventures. Oh, I gotta um, see that. That starts tomorrow from, from IDW for now till the end Old of the school. year. Old school. Um, there's actually a nice one in ten. Uh, was it? I think Billy Penn that that did the cover for it. It's kind of like a Be Kind Rewind VHS Saturday Morning Nostalgia type feel for it. That's um, cool. And then the the other one I was looking forward to. Um, Second Sight Publishing has got a lot of books hitting release tomorrow, but one I'm excited about is uh, it's called Freak Show Kingdom, mm-hmm. and it's written by Jonathan Hedrick. Is it not on here? Did I not see it? Um, I don't see it. It's that monkey. <laughs> Let me see it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see it on there. Uh-uh. Yeah, I'll put the in the link in the private chat here. For Midtown. All right. The transfer was pretty cool, too. Oh, that is nice. Holy cow. Yeah. There's a wow. couple of covers for it, but <laughs> that, that one, and um, like I said, Second Sight, man, if you like horror comics, they got a lot of great books, and they got a lot hit and released tomorrow. But this one, Jonathan Hedrick, he's written some great stuff recently. Oh, that's uh, crazy. And he's a... Uh, He's an army veteran, so I'm happy to support veterans as well. This is amazing right here. Yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> that's Bradley amazing. Golden. It, it, yeah, running, running second site. Yep. So, I saw another book, but I, I figured Tomberlin might be picking that. Yeah, I think you're right. It's the yellow one. Yeah, it's a great cover. Mm-hmm. But I saw that one too. That's a gorgeous cover. That's sold out online at a lot of places. Yeah, yeah this is his daughter, right? Stan's mm-hmm. guy's daughter. Yep. Beautiful cover. A little Scotty awesome. Young esque. Yep. Her chibis, as she calls them. Mm-hmm. What, oh, what, were you thinking what are you getting? Uh, McClay, can you drop down? Actually, 
Uh, it's not going to show up on there. Um, because this is a secret variant dropping tomorrow. Well, I'll just, oh, no I'll just drop this over here. Um, let's just switch to my screen real quick. I don't know how to McClay is going to find it fast enough because I couldn't find it there. I had to find it through a Google link. Something is killing the children. Number 21 drops a secret ash can tomorrow. Uh, almost a month ahead of the return of issue 21. And I didn't hear about this until several hours ago, seeing some websites post news articles earlier today. So people shared it with me and lo and behold, in my LCS's pull list email tonight that I received, it is there ready and available. And this thing is going to be, if this is going to be all black front, all black back. It's like a gray. Just, it's like a gray, I think. Or a gray, that solid cover. It's going to be tough and high grade. It's going to be sought after. It's going to be limited. It's going to be like a one per store, I think. I can imagine that there's only one going to each uh, LCS, depending on orders. And it's going to be pretty tough to come by tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm excited. This uh, Surprise, surprise. I have one in my pull box tomorrow. Yeah. It's cool. No. Yeah, I think that will be a cool drop for sure. I think it's like an all gray cover with like the, the emblem on the front. That was what I saw, but I mean, that could have been. Um, yeah, that's different. what we had on the screen. It's just kind of tough to see. Oh, was Heavy it? metal drummer is finally coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did that get pushed back? Wait, as did get pushed back? Yeah. It got pushed back, yeah. Really? Oh, man, so I tried to go order that. Um, I, I called, I think I had a tech message to Brian. Too. I want that book. <laughs> So, it's awesome, dude. This covers on here are amazing. Yeah, like, I want that. So it's still not out. It's, it's from Behemoth, right? Yep. Yep. Coming out this week. I mean, just beautiful covers. So that ash can that is selling for like a hundred bucks, too. For heavy metal cover? No, for something that's killing the children. Twenty-one. It's already going for a hundred. Yep. Good gravy. Yep. So mine is uh, the animal book. Animal Castle, the yellow cover. Yeah, that's a gorgeous cover. That's you still in on that, man? I am, dude. I like it, man. I'm telling you, I uh, I like it. And that cover is good. I'm with I'm with Brian. I like yellow covers too. So, yeah, that one sucked me right in. <laughs> Sick. Anything else? Uh, it's a slower week. I, I mean, y'all y'all pretty much hit all the high points. Yeah. Primordial spawn, looking... spawn is so freaking hard to follow. I what can't. about turtles, bro? The mutant frogs, bro. Mutant <sighs> yeah, toads. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, badass. If they would have called them battle toads, I would have felt a lot better. Uh, only if they're seeing <laughs> Rainbow Connection. Uh, what does the Eastman cover look like? Do we know? It's, no. uh, it's seen, up on Midtown. Also. I haven't seen the Eastman cover. Eastman covers on Midtowns also. Hmm. I was so behind this week. I didn't even get my article done. So that tells you where I'm at. You're an article. Punk frogs. Yeah. yeah, punk frogs. I love it, dude. Yeah. Rainbow connection. But They all got tattoos and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like battle toads. Yeah. yeah, it's battle toads. That's what I'm saying. They had called them battle toads. And just Did you see, speaking of Ninja Turtles, they just released the logo for Seth Rogen's animated Ninja Turtles. Yes. Turtle. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah, I think they're re-releasing some type of Battletoads game too. Are they? It's funny. Yeah, yeah. I I think so. At least this time you should have save points. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Primordial Six is out this weekend. Isn't that the finale? Uh, yes, it is. I think, I so. think I passed it. Where is it? That's been a head trip of a read. It's yeah, I was expecting it to get better, and I was expecting it to be a little bit better than it, than it actually was. That's uh, okay. what is that? Lemire, Lemire Sorrentino. Lemire. Yep. Yeah, Lemire. Where is it? I pass it. Yeah, right, right there. there. there to is. the left. Yep. I think it could have been if they would have gone twelve issues and fleshed it out a little bit more. I think they are just trying to do a lot in such a small. That's a small cool cover. Chunk of books. Yeah, but they had it was. I don't know. It was wasted. Some of them were just like throwaway books too. <laughs> it's a doge. It's a doge meme. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Ryan, what are you getting? Oh, wow! Yes, <laughs> I knew that was coming. I want the uh, look. The the one in twenty five is is a pretty good book from Paul Secura. I think it's like, a Del Auto. Wow, look at that. 
Yeah, uh, they, that's uh, some of the exclusives out there. Oh, bummer. Yeah, the policy care though that 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 second row all the way to the right. Ooh, yeah. yeah. What's the one in the middle of the second row? <laughs> it's it's a, the Gwen the Gwen one. Gwen What's like, up with the chains? Yeah, that's the that's the thing with uh, with the venom that Dylan is dealing with. He's Kate's put chains on him for whatever reason. That's this the, is the yeah, Gwen, Gwen variant. Right there. That's straight up no Gwen involved on that. It's no. Dazzler. I was about to say, it's all Dazzler. Yeah, it's a Dazzler right? cover, if anything. But um, so, yeah, I'm going to get that, obviously. And then um, there's a, that's supposed to be Bedlam's uh, cover deal. I say, is that an uh, exclusive? That's exclusive cover, yeah. The, that the only is terrible. Is that Frankie's? That's this that's right that. here is so bad. I can't believe they let somebody create that. I think that's Frankie's. Yeah, it is. I hope not. And, and God, it is. Hope not. This it's artist, Frankie's. He's starting to make more. He's starting to do more covers. The artist that he did this. Um, that's like Bar Clans Barons. versus Zombies. Isn't it Barons? Terrible. Bjorn Barons. It, it starts with a B. Uh, yeah, Bjorn Barons. Bjorn Barons. Oh, yeah. The artist is not bad. I'm not saying the art is bad. It's a football cover. What the hell? Wasn't there an Incredible Hulk one of those too? Well, they, he did a lot of sports covers, and a lot of people liked the some of the other ones they did. The first well, they one did was some, like the basketball one. Yeah, the very and, first and the Miles one. Wrestling one. Wrestling. 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 Where are you from? Wrestling. There's a um, Devil's Reign. <laughs> one of their spinoffs has a super log cover that I thought looked pretty cool. That's come out tomorrow also. Yeah, I want to get that on a heavy metal drummer. It's got too. the uh, Nintendo one, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. But and they yeah. uh, and you know I don't know what the deal is with these second prints. So I guess because they're coming through Penguin or whatever, the second prints have been real tough to get. And um and I was talking to a couple of my LCSs here because uh, second print for number two and number three came out last week, but no one picked them up. No one, no, none of the, none of the shops got them. Yeah. And so uh, it's been a like one of those books it's kind of uh, i think i secured a, one of uh, both of them but it might be something that, that someone picked up for later on that uh those things might go because then i might not be a small print run on them yeah well i think i got a venom book in your pay coming to you in this month's patreon well i say this month's last month's patreon box is january's patreon box oh i'm stoked now. if wait. you don't get one let me know because because i had i put put one aside just in case Awesome. Oh, yeah. But um, Mitch Joel also put in the chat, of course, Nightwing. Tom Taylor's been doing great on Nightwing. Uh, I I lo love Nightwing. I kind of fell off of Son of Cal Al, but Nightwing's still been a good read. Where's Nightwing? Am I missing right. Hulk, that? Right. Hulk's coming you out. You had it up. Go yeah. up. Right, right there. there. Oh, yeah. That's a cool cover. Yeah. That's a real cool cover. Is that is that John? That's cool. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what happens. Tom Taylor has been really good on Nightwing. Yeah. And Hulk comes out, yeah? I believe so. I'm Let's reading that. It's, it's been pretty... It's interesting that Hulk has been interesting for sure. Oh, it's been weird, bro. I like um, weird, though. It's just like, you know... Thor comes out tomorrow, too. When are the, Oh, look at this. Art Adams variant. Ooh. What? That's gotta be Ooh. exclusive. Wait a second. That was pretty good. Well, they did an old they did an old school throwback kind of one like that on, on the last Hulk one as well. I got all green cover on number two or three, whatever it was last the last issue. Wow. Is that an exclusive? I have no idea. Huh. Let's see. I hope not. Oh well, yeah, it is. There's a black and white. Here's the black and white. Shit. Uh, yeah. It's probably it's probably uh, unknown than it because they do splash and then black and white and then a partial color and then one without writing, one with writing, and one without a character, and one with a character. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. $50 a set on ultimatecomics.com for the oh. black and white and for the color. 50 bucks. That's kind of oh. ultimate comics. Yep. Yeah. That's a lot a for, a, for two comics, man. So you got 25 a pop. So you know, I was a Pokemon style on the Venom, but I stopped that on on volume th on the volume five. I just, just, just I felt like I'm, I was being abused. And I can't do it anymore. Yeah, it's a lot. It's the, it's 
they take it. I don't know if I necessarily want to say take advantage, but it's it's tough to be put, collect it's, them all type stuff. It feels, it feels abusive. Yeah, <laughs> so I had I just couldn't feel like I, I felt like I was feeding to the to the machine. I couldn't do them. The, yeah. um, there's another cover for that Spider Man. Um, this one's pretty that good. One, the yeah. Gleason, yeah, that's actually Ooh. really good. Oh, that is pretty sick. What is that? Is that a character? That new, what is that? Gleason variant. Yeah, this is the Queen Goblin. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty damn good there now. Yeah. What is this? She got like uh, y- yellow lantern powers or something? <laughs> that's her friends. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. Might have to buy one of those. We'll see. A lot of, uh, a lot of good books, uh, good covers. You think you find that Devil's Reign, the Devil's Reign, um, <laughs> Superior four. That's it. Superior and then four. find this down um down one down there. You were just on it. Next to Iron Fist. Right here. Click on that and then it's the um super log. There you go. Ooh. That's a cool cover. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Wow. Like Big cool. Daddy Ed Roth style, man. Yeah. It's almost like mad balls or I don't even I don't know. It's like Tunnel Country or a surf like to me, yeah. Uh... Ooh, I'm gonna have to buy one of those too. That's awesome. Yeah, so tomorrow will be some fun covers for sure. It looks like at least they're you know story wise might not be so much, but some of the cool covers, some mud covers out there. Yeah. yeah.